Hello RC fans, Racing393 here for another video. Um, this will be a box opening and a quick review video. And then this very car that you see, this truck, will go online for a bidding auction. Now the reason I do these, um, I have been asked, um, why don't I do giveaways? Well. I think the fact of the matter is, I'm, I'm, I'm not even a small channel, I'm just a person doing videos. Um, I can't afford to give things away. So the flip side of that would be, because I like my RC, uh, I will go and pick a random car that I'll buy that I think looks interesting. Um, I'll do a box opening, we'll have a look at it, go through the details, you know, just compare the car to what I think it should be, or, you know, compare the car to what, perhaps I've done another one before. Um, give you some feedback, some thought, and then uh, we'll give it a little quick, quick buzz around indoors. So nothing too strenuous, because I don't want it to be uh, scratched. I would just charge the battery, maybe not even fully charged. Uh, have a quick go, give you some feedback again on that. Put it back in the box um, and then sell it online and there will be links in the description for this um, for both ways so there'll be a link in the description for where you can buy it or where you can bid on it and if you happen to come across it and you haven't seen this video then there'll be a link where to find the video to, uh, for a quick review so this is a 1 16th scale and it says there uh, a four-wheel drive high-speed off-road truck um, I don't, hasn't actually got a name other than off road as far as I can see on there at the moment. Um, the, the sort of the, it's got an M, MG W4. I don't know what that stands for. Um, but it looks good. It's very reminiscent of the HPI truck that's just come out it's got a very squared off body um i'm like i say I, I, right from the right from the get-go i'm not a massive fan of oversized truck wheeled vehicles yes it's got monster truck-esque uh, but I, unless it's unless it's a proper monster jam truck I'm not too bothered. In fact, I doubt I'll even buy ever for myself. Having said that, I do have one, but it is Nitro, but that one will come out very soon on a video. But this one looks all right. It's only a small one. It looks very good on here. Uh, it's, like I said, it's got a nice looking shell. Um, lithium on battery, uh, 7.2 volts, 15 milliamp hour. It's got a Dean's plug, according to the box picture, a Dean's plug connection on it. Uh, we go through some basic things on there. I know you want to see the truck anyway, but I'm going to go through it. So it's got metal gears. Well, it looks at a metal differential, which is good. Um, it's got a three wire digital servo. It's got a brushless motor um, and a metal spur gear assembly. You can see there at the bottom. So that's pretty neat. Uh, it's great to have oil filled shocks adjustable turnbuckles, it's got bearings, and clearly got rubber tires. Looks all right. I mean, it's it's pretty reminiscent of a lot of the 1 16th scale trucks that you can buy anyway. Um, okay, there's nothing else to see within uh, the box now itself. So let me just open the box up and we'll get the truck out. So first things first, uh, I quite like the colour, it's a lovely orange, that orange and grey uh, goes really well together. And also the truck is surprisingly heavy, it must, um, 
Yeah, and it look it looks a lot better than I first thought. Like a lot of things, pictures don't always do things justice. And it's not until you get them out and in your hands that you feel that it's actually um, uh, it's actually surprising. Tires are quite hard, um, but you know I think there's going to be plenty of grip there. To be honest, I'll just flip the truck over. It's got like a plastic under chassis, so that tends to flex rather than bend, which would be good. I suppose you could go bashing with it. Um, it looks like it could be used for, yeah, yeah. Whether you use it as skate park or not, I don't know. I suppose it's quite light in, re in relative to its size. So um, yeah, um, the shock absorbers initially they feel they feel really good. That's good. Uh, we just turn the car round. I keep saying car, but it is a truck. But you know what I mean. Yes. So it feels very smooth. Yeah, I like that. That's not bad at all. We can get the body shell off. Um, it's got these kind of tethers on there. So it means you can easily get the shell off. Uh, quite a nice idea. And on the larger scale equivalent type of trucks, I guess you can have these tethers are sometimes fixed to the shell, but these ones are not. But nevertheless, it's a, it's a neat little... Um, Design and there's clearly there's four of them so so we lift the shell off hopefully just typical polycarbonate shell painted um, it has got protective it's got a protective coating on the outside which I will leave on it's got some protective skid plates on the roof. Uh, a roll cage, a couple of air vents to simulate where the air would go. Um, at the moment, there's not much else to it, but it's nicely finished. It looks nice. I say I like the I like the orange and the grey. I think it goes quite well. And here we can look at the inside here. So I'm just gonna tip it up. It's a very it's got a warning back a warning sticker on there saying, "Do not touch the motor until it has cooled down." So it's a very small, um, might be a 380 size motor, but it is brushless nevertheless. It's got a, a reasonable size battery here. Um, plenty of power, nice Velcro strap on this bit. So that comes down like that. You can sort of loosen it off a little bit and the battery can come out. That's all good. It's a reasonable size battery, I like that. That's good for this. It's a 2S, so that's gonna be that's plenty of power. I think what I need to do is to get this on charge ASAP. So I'd like to get some power in it and we can have a look at the rest of the car. It's just a typical standard USB charger. Uh, nothing too special. Like most things, uh, if that's all you've got, it will work for now. If you try to get into your hobby a little bit more and you're gonna be charging more batteries, then it's best to buy a proper battery charger. But I'm just gonna plug this in uh, whilst I do the rest of this video and hopefully there'll be enough juice in the battery to give it a go. Battery on charge, flashing green, all good. The connector, as usual, the white connector there only goes in one way, so be careful when you plug it in. Um, it, you, can, you can quite easily get it the wrong way around if you've never done one of these before, so just check that before you plug it in. And I'm guessing, like usual, flashing green means it's charging. Um, and solid green should mean it's fully charged. So I'll leave that there for a minute. It's neatly done. It does have what would seem to be lights. I think it's got a light bar on the front. Don't think it's got anything on the back. No, so that would probably be able to go through some different settings, uh, unless it's just on or off. We'll check that out. Uh, the on off button is there on the receiver so it's got a receiver and ESC combined you can see there the other motor neat rock wiring three wires there 
So it all looks pretty good at the moment on here. Shock absorbers look nice actually. So there are aluminium and are they adjustable? Yes, I think they are. So you can, you can adjust the platforms there to get the ride height to what you want. They're fully up at the moment. So I will leave it there for the person who buys this. It's got fully adjustable turnbuckles, which is good. Again, I won't mess around changing those. And the shock absorbers, feel really, really good. The stand dust really plastic. I guess I wouldn't sort of bash this too hard because I suppose it could snap those off. Um, but used under normal circumstances, I think that's very good. It's got typical type of uh, wishbones on here, like the shape you get in a lot of the trucks. Uh, a metal drive shaft, which is also good in a truck of this price. It's got CVDs in it as well. So the, it's got a dog bone at the end there and a CVD at the back, which is good. Um, same with the front. So very good, I like that. Um, we're gonna just check the diffs. So it's got a nice diff there, it's fairly, fairly free. It's got one that works in the front as well. It's got a metal drive shaft through the center. Through the front diff as well. That's really good. Like most things, I'm not gonna take this apart, but I would encourage, if you can check the diffs, because sometimes they don't have enough grease or lubrication in them. Um, this is only get a very light run anyway, so it's not gonna do any damage. Uh, I quite like the fact it's got these kind of flexible uh, sort of parts of the bumper here, so it does land on it. It takes some of the force away from the chassis. That's all good. Typically it's got crosshead hardware, not a problem. Nice little servo there underneath the electronics. Um, yeah, it's got a servo saver on it as well. Like a little spring, I'm not sure if you can see that, but that's in there. Um, yeah, so I'm quite impressed. It's got threaded, the threaded parts of the shock are plastic, where this collar would go down. So you can change the ride height of your, your ride, literally. But uh, there's no oil leakage, so it sometimes can happen, there's oil that might come out of the shocks, but it's perfectly, yeah, I mean, yeah, we like that. So <coughs> also get a couple of hardware uh, tools in there, hex wrench screwdriver. Um, great if you haven't got any of that. Hand controller, super basic. Um, I don't think there's much on here that you can adjust. It doesn't have the usual adjustments. You've got on or off. Um, what does it say there? So it does say, please do not touch the throttle and the steering during turning on the vehicle for obvious reasons. But yeah, the thing is with these budget, I mean, it feels, it doesn't, it, it is cheap, but it doesn't feel loose it's quite a tight feel nice sort of resistance on the wheel there which is good and the trigger there's nothing else there's no there's no other there's nothing on there other than on off switch you've got a trim control here that's for the steering and a button there you've got a button there that must be for the light at the front the steering trim on or off actually three settings there so the setting on the switch there you got off looks like what's 50% so for beginners then a hundred percent by the looks of it I will need to take a closer look at that it's quite difficult to see in this light and my eyes I think that's about percentage it, looks like, it even looks like 76% but it can't be that anyway that's uh, 
that's pretty much it on that one. So we've just got to get the, uh, I'll take the battery case off, um, see how many batteries it needs. Um, you get the screwdriver, I guess that's what that's for. So uh, it's got a little screw there, let's undo that. So I must say, I'm not a fan of that. It's a bit laborious having to do that, but I'm guessing they, they won't run out that quick because there's nothing on this controller. And you just unclip that, unclip it, swings round, and it just takes two AA batteries. So th there's nothing, nothing to go wrong there at all. Um, I think that's pretty good. So that's gonna last you for ages. And then you just clip back together. So you, you might not actually have to have that in, the screw, unless I guess that, that there breaks. But uh, I'm gonna go and get some batteries and put the batteries on. And by then, I hope, the battery will have enough charging to get this car. I keep calling it a car. It's a truck. For God's sake, it's a truck. Give it a little whiz around indoors. Got two batteries here, so they're not the same. My OCD probably couldn't cope with that in the long term, but we'll stick them in here. This, this lid doesn't actually come off. It's hinged. So uh, we're gonna put this in. Now when we power on it, you should see a light on there. Yeah. The reason it's flashing is because the car's not turned on. And when I say car, I do mean truck. <laughs> but uh, I think for the purpose of this video, I'm not gonna put this screw back in the bottom uh, just yet. Because I'm only gonna have to take it off again when I take the batteries out. Clearly when this is sold, or advertise, I should say, um, it won't come with batteries. I've got my trusty cones here, so um, I just put these out on the floor just so that I can have some some form of something to turn to. Do you know what I mean? Otherwise, it's just an empty space. So. Um, yeah, I've got. I don't know where I got these from. These are these are pretty good. I like these. I like these just to sort of set up a a basic area. So what I'm going to do now is the battery is still flashing green. It's probably been on charge for probably I don't know forty minutes, if that. So so I'm going to put this back in. Um, I don't suppose it really matters which way it goes. There's a, there's a a cut away in the chassis there for the um, wiring, I guess. So the battery is held in there nice and tight. I do like that. So we're now going to switch this on. So it's trying to find the car. The on off button is actually on this side here. And you should see that. And we're connected. So I'm just gonna do the steering. That's proportional steering. Super quick. That's nicely done. I like that. And here's the throttle. This is on a hundred. No, it's not. This is only on the middle setting. which seems quick enough as it is. That's on the maximum setting. And that's horrendously fast for something this size. So I will keep it on that. Um, we're going to put the shell back on. does come with a manual. I didn't show you this before. Um, got some spare parts, all the part numbers there at the back. Uh, the whole car is full of spare parts and clearly it's got diagrams where you, if you wanted to take the different, because it all comes apart, which is good to see. 
so it can be serviced and adjusted and things can be bought should um, anything break so I like that that's very good so all of the car um, is a fed on the cheap end of a RC car it can be um, dismantled repaired and bits replaced on it which is good so this is the car now it's all done as in it's ready to rock and roll but it's going to be far too quick for in here it's really quick it's too quick for indoors to be honest That is really fast. It's knocking the cones everywhere. Yeah, like that. This is a. Well, I don't know about you. But... Yeah, this this is absolutely spectacular for its size. It's got good brakes, good steering. And then remember this is flat out. I will just check the light, let's make sure that works. On, off. It's as simple as that. So, um, I don't know what I put the cones down for, but they're all gone now. We'll turn that off there. I'm gonna put it to 50% or whatever the, med the, the middle setting is. Let's see what that's like now. Yes, it's noticeably slower, but but it's still it's too quick for indoors. There's cones everywhere. This car is absolutely, I would say, one of the better small scale. I wouldn't even say it's toy grey, I suppose it is a little bit toy grey, but it does come apart. It's perhaps more leaning towards hobby grade. It's got full proportional braking in forward and reverse. Uh, full proportional throttle and re oh, I said reverse, braking, reverse and steering. Um, it's great. I mean, this would be really quite good fun outside on the, in the right environment. Um, I won't be doing that because I want to keep it as new as possible. So, um, well, that'll be the end of the video. So if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, please follow, follow the channel, subscribe or hit the notification bell for more content. There will be more um, reviews and uh, I won't, it's not a giveaway because you've got to pay for it. There will be more opening, box openings and reviews with the chance to purchase the product um, if I can get to up to 500 subscribers then I might do a very cheap giveaway just to celebrate 500 subscribers I think we're on about 350 something at the moment but um, anyway that's the end of this video a four-wheel drive off-road truck which I think is is very very good indeed so I hope you enjoyed it I thank you for watching and bye bye for now.